All righty, it is March 31st, I believe. It is the end of the month. Um, this is another edition of the Backyard uh, Boogie where I'm making another documentation video. So this is a recap video on uh, yesterday and what's been going on in regards to starting my new podcast. Um, two days ago, I went and had a meetup with my brother Luke from the Life Lifestylist podcast, which is a two-hour video that we just created where I interviewed my brother in regards to starting a podcast because he has a very successful one going with a great audience and a great following of people that are really interested into his work and all the guests that he interviews on his show. So that was a fun time and I will be going over to his house tomorrow to do my very first podcast interview. So this is the day before. Um, and the reason I didn't get to make a video yesterday was because we went out uh, or we went on a, an amazing adventure, my girlfriend and my other brother Andy, uh, to the butcher, sh butcher shop. And we were able to uh, get my girlfriend to butcher uh, one of our new hogs that we just purchased that we will be putting into our freezer and consuming over the next couple months. So we went out there so she could understand where all the different cuts of meat come from on the animals that we consume. So that was a beautiful day. I really enjoyed that. It was a really fun learning experience for her because she loves cooking um, and we mostly eat animal products. So uh, it was a great way to go deeper into understanding where our food comes from. And we were also able to go meet up with the farmer um, who was able to give us our pig's feet and I believe we might have got the snout um, and something else as far as for our dogs because we like to use as much of the animal as, le as we possibly can in as many ways as we possibly can. So we eat nose to tail and we try to consume every aspect of the animal. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't make a video. but. This being the day before where the day before I go and shoot my first podcast, what I did was, I mean, it's, it was interesting because I will be interviewing my brother. So I do know quite a bit about him. So there's been a challenge because I'm trying to come up with my show format. I still don't have a name. Um, I have a, a basic understanding of what the show will be about. And so that's where I would like the questions to come from. But I found it to be a little challenging because I do know so much about my brother. Um, and I had to apply some of the tactics that I learned when I just went through English 101 a few months back, which really kicked my ass. But it was really fun um, in an uncomfortable way um, because it got me out of my comfort zone. And uh, it really pushed me in, in terms of using my mind, which I'm on a mission to use my mind more. And so I use some of those tactics, meaning brainstorming and uh, getting down uh, to a more specific topic of discussion because I start very broad. I'm, I'm just so interested in so many things because there's so much to know, but that's not always good uh, in terms of writing an essay or in terms of nailing down um, the questions that I would like to get interviewing somebody between an hour and an hour and a half because we don't have a lot of time. It might sound like a lot of time, but it's not a lot of time and I really believe it's going to go even faster because I mean me and my brother sat down for two hours talking about how to start a podcast and it felt like five minutes. The time flew by and we really talked about probably five major key points to coming up with the idea, the concept, and creating a podcast and naming a podcast, and then the first basic steps and some of the essential things you need to know in the production on the production side of a podcast. And that was two hours. So um, I really had to use the brainstorming techniques because I was starting so broad and I really needed to use what I learned in that English 101 class to chisel everything that I didn't really need um, in the set of questions. But what I'd like to do is just share some of what that looks like for me because I'm making uh, videos documenting not just starting my life over but also starting a podcast. And uh, I'm going to see, oh, I can't do it with this. I guess you can when you're filming Instagram videos or something. You can flip back and forth. So I'm going to show you what these pages look like. 
but the problem with that is it's probably going to be backwards because I like to film myself with the uh, screen facing me so I can make sure to the best of my ability that I'm in the screen. Sometimes I don't really care um, because I know you can hear me because I got a dope road mic on with this cord right here so you can see how I'm doing this and then it has this thing. I don't know if this will fit into the camera. All right, just getting off topic here, but and I freaking love it because it hasn't let me down not one time. Um, that's why I use it. So anyway, I'm going to kind of flip the paper over here and let's see. OK, so that is what my brainstorming looks like. I wrote my brother's name down in the middle and then to one side it says entrepreneur and to the other side it says impact. And then if you were to go upward from my brother's name, which is in the center there, um, it goes into like childhood and getting sober and then adulthood. And I really want to capture when I interview people the internal and the external challenges or problems or difficulties and then also the philosophical or metaphysical um, challenges or problems that the guests have encountered um, throughout their life or throughout business. And this is going to be a more business specific podcast. Um, but that's hard for me to do because I want to talk about entrepreneurship. I want to talk about online marketing. I want to talk about online business. I want to talk about health. I want to talk about spirituality. I want to talk about personal development. I want to talk about relationships. I want to talk about nutrition. I want to talk about um, cool products that enhance human performance or productivity or cognition. Um, XYZ, the list could go on and on and on, psychedelics and spiritual journeys in, in regards to ayahuasca or um, other uh, psychedelic therapies, um, yum, 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 yum. I mean, I could really go deep, sales and, and the sales process and, and dissecting it and how to apply it and um, what else, fulfillment when you create a product or you create a service and um, generating leads. What else? 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 Oh yeah, retention and then ascending people into purchasing other bigger uh, aspects to your services or to your products. So yeah, the list goes on and on. But I really want it to be a business focused podcast, but I don't want to leave out the importance of the inner journey. And I remember Russell Brunson was making reference to in his book expert secrets and then also i was doing the one funnel away challenge but of course i got derailed because i got a new job which was also part of a new career path so it really got pushed to the back burner basically i spent a 100 bucks and didn't do it um, because i just had too much going on and i had to prioritize the new job but i didn't know i was going to get that job and then i did and you know that's what happened but anyway he was talking about uh one of the books um or yeah one of the books he referenced was um, the Hero's Two Journeys. Now, I haven't read it, but I have studied um, some of the material from uh, Donald Miller from StoryBrand. And he talks about when creating a service or a product and how to communicate um, to the potential customer or client or student. Um, he always talked about really nailing down the internal problem, the external problem, and the philosophical problem. So as far as the interviews go, I would like to be, I'd like it to be like a beginning, a middle and an end. I would like it to be someone sharing their story and their experience in life and in business and personal development. Um, so as you can see, there's so many ways I could go about that because when I'm interviewing someone who's, I don't know, 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, 60 years old, maybe even up to 70 years old, there's been so many phases in someone's life. And how do you fit all that into freaking 60 or 90 minutes or 45 minutes if that's the only amount of time someone can allot you or maybe even 30 minutes, who knows? But I'm aiming for an hour to an hour and a half because I like to talk a lot and I'm hoping the guests that I get on like to talk a lot um, because I really want to share everyone's message. Um, because that's one of the ways I learn. I love listening and studying and learning from other people as they share their experiences and, and their courage and their triumph over adversity. So that's what I'm hoping to capture. And when I make these different brainstorming, um, I don't know, I forget what they call these things. Like it's like a brain cloud or something. Um, so I made two of them actually. I had like a phase one 
which was this one here. And then I also created towards the end, I did it again once I got a little bit more narrow with my questions um, or more specific with my questions. Then I made a version two. So again, I put Luke story, his name in there. And then I put to one side, mentor, guide, coach. Then I put on the other side, like awakening or the epiphanies. And then on top, which is the external stuff, podcast, the lifestyle is podcast. Um, and then basically the why, the what, the who, the how, and then like, how do you monetize that, turn that into a business. Um, and then also the blocks bef below my brother's name is the other things I want to touch on, which is starting life over, um, having to reinvent yourself, working at a job that you don't enjoy and uh, fears or uh, things that you're afraid of in regards to pulling the trigger. Maybe it's an idea or a concept or a product or a service, uh, something you want to create or something you want to start that you're just being limited by these kinds of beliefs which are based or centered in fear. Um, so really, I think we all go through these kinds of internal um, or we all have an opportunity to face these internal problems and we also have the opportunity to grow because of them. I think they are our greatest teachers and that's what I'm trying to like draw from um, starting a podcast and interviewing people. It's, it's really overcoming adversity, um, identifying the failures or w at what time, sometimes at, or at one time seemed like a failure but actually turned out to be one of the greatest gifts ever um, because of what it did for them personally and professionally. Um, I'm rambling on because I have so many thoughts going on and going through my head uh, at this time. But I'm super excited that tomorrow is the day that I actually get to pull the trigger in terms of doing my first interview. And uh, so I'll just read through the interview with you right now. Obviously, I will have that and I will release that. So the way I will start the show off because I don't have a show name yet and I don't want to do the introduction where I read through someone's credentials. I can do that on my own free time and I don't want that to eat up part of the interview. So um, it'll start off with me saying, hi, Luke, welcome to the show. And that's the intro. And I'll be able to create an intro where I go through the breakdown or the backstory or the credentials, X, Y, Z, all the things I need to talk about um, to represent um, the host and let the listeners know. Um, so once I say that, hi, Luke, welcome to the show. Uh, then obviously da -da -da, and I'll be able to say thanks for, you know, um, taking the time uh, to do this interview. I really appreciate that because I, I really do. I appreciate anybody who's willing to share their free time and uh, use that time in a way that can benefit others. Um, before we get into entrepreneurship, online business, making money online, and creating a lifestyle you crave, I'd like to rewind and take a trip back in time, pre-stylist, pre-school of style, and pre-lifestyle podcast. As a kid, what types of internal or external struggles did you contend with, and where did that lead you, and how did you work on or overcome these challenges that you were facing? Um, so that's pretty deep. That would probably be a pretty long discussion. And I even shared these questions with my girlfriend and I'll probably do it again later as I really dial things in and, and, and make a, you know, a, a typed up document for the show tomorrow. But even when I shared that with my girlfriend, she's like, wow, man, that's going to be a really long podcast if I go all the way back into that. So I might find a way to actually ask um, that question uh, to where it would be... Uh, more of a snippet rather than a life story. All right, so how do I do that? Well, there's a couple of the questions I put in here that are similar to that, that might just be a little bit too time consuming. But um, fast forwarding through my questions here, uh, I could get into this and that would help save some time, which would be, what were you doing for work before you became a stylist? And how did you go from there to becoming a successful podcaster and a spiritual guide, which I think is probably gonna be where I start from. And then I wanna get into things where we really do identify these topics of interest of mine, which I know are very interesting to a lot of people out there who are interested in similar things like entrepreneurship. So I wanna know why entrepreneurship? Why not work for somebody else and 
because I know the I just heard a word called entrepreneurship where you're basically an entrepreneur working in somebody's business that's an entrepreneur um, so I get that but uh, he's an entrepreneur and I'm an entrepreneur and I know there's a lot of other people that are or wanting to be entrepreneurs and uh, I'm coming from a place where I've been working at a job that I just got laid off of that I was doing because I wanted to improve my skills in regards to sales but I wasn't a super big fan of the position like it wasn't something that I just felt so crazily excited about but I felt excited enough that I could say yes to the job and feel like I could really be of maximum service so I did it but would I rather be doing podcasts and learning how to monetize a podcast in terms of affiliate marketing where I can share other people's products and services courses um, and get their messages out so other people can benefit and I'm just a middleman and I'm a connector and I help people explore and uh, find new ways of going about that which they do in terms of building an online business or making money online or um, as far as human performance or um, taking a new idea and turning it into a product you get the drift so anyway after I talk about that you know asking them why entrepreneurship why not just you know work a nine-to-five type of deal um, then it would be like how did you decide to make a podcast like why did you create a podcast I want to know what the awakening was like what got him to wake up to the idea and then follow through and take action on building a podcast because before that I know he had uh, a school that he created called the school of style and before that um, I know he was a stylist working with celebrities and before that I know he was working as a waiter and before that I knew he was doing XYZ I mean he's my brother so I know the backstory but um, I want to know when he got hit with the idea of I'm gonna make a podcast and I want to know what that was like and explore that a little with him then it goes into who is your podcast for and how do you want it to help or impact your listeners I usually do like one to three questions per question just allowing the host to pick what direction they want to go uh, with the question because I think sometimes asking it in multiple ways gives somebody a better idea and maybe you know lights a couple uh, light uh, light bulbs in their brain that allows them to really rock and roll um, and then um, can a podcast become a self-supporting business and how do you monetize it so that it can be a self-supporting business or a sustainable business or a business that you can um, actually create the lifestyle that you want um, and then how do money and spirituality um, come together like like how does that work because I've had a personal question with that because I've pursued living a more spiritual life and I didn't really mix the two or know how to mix the two or didn't really think you could mix the two because it wasn't spiritual because you're making money off other people like there's a lot of old ideas and you know weird beliefs around money and spirituality for me so I wanted to get his perspective on that um, because it's like I can't start a podcast and expect that everything's going to be for free like I have to pay people for the different softwares I have to pay people uh, when I buy their courses I have to pay people for the time and energy they put into their products so why would I expect just because I'm going to make a product which I believe a brand or a podcast is a product um, and then it's up to you how you distribute and, and uh, share um, that service it's a service um so like you're gonna have to get paid for that otherwise like, how are you gonna sustain doing it um, and how are you gonna sustain doing it and have the type of life you want to live like it's gonna be impossible unless there's some sort of exchange of money which means to me exchange in love or exchange in value so anyway I want to get his take on that and then what are some of the biggest challenges that you have come up against creating and running a podcast and making sure that um, it's sustainable what about mentorship what is mentorship or having a guide um, what, what's its role in your life personally and professionally I got to iron that question out I just did a little bullet point on that one um, why is having a vision so important and how did you create your vision for your future life um, how does meditation impact you and where does it fit in regards to money and business and entrepreneurship and if we had time I would love to get into something I find fascinating personally which is 
psychedelic journeys or ayahuasca ceremonies because I know um, he's had the opportunity to go on different retreats in the past year um, some of which you know he's been on these journeys where uh, he was able to do a ayahuasca ceremony I know he's also been to a Joe Dispenza retreat which uh, has a lot to do with meditation and then I also know he's been seeking a spiritual way of life for 20 plus years 23 25 years something like that um, after he got sober and I've been doing the same for 15 years after I got sober when I was 23 and he was a big part of why I got sober and how I got sober and he was a big part of that even being a possibility because when I was 23 I was out to lunch yo I was so crazy I didn't even know I was crazy um, so yeah I wanted to dive into that realm a little bit because I know that aspect to the spiritual journey is a little bit new um, or the aspect to recovery and therapy as far as recovering from trauma um, recovering from the crazy things that he did in his life and i'm interested because maybe i could do some of these things that he's been experimenting and trying with that could benefit me and on top of that i want it to benefit the listener maybe it's something that can bend someone's mind or open up so open up someone's mind and get them to think and see these kinds of things in a different way because i know growing up in the era of the you know the war on drugs uh, there's a lot of interesting beliefs around uh, psilocybin around mushrooms and LSD and MDMA and um, ayahuasca or peyote or you know all these different psychedelic type of so-called drugs which I don't think are drugs I look at them like medicines or what people call plant medicines um, outside of the LSD or the MDMA uh, when I'm talking ayahuasca or peyote uh, or psilocybin uh, fungi uh, so yeah I wanted to uh, explore that a little bit um, if we had some time and then I know people do things like lightning rounds and stuff and I think I heard somebody uh, do something one time and I actually really liked it I might do it with my brother where I say one word and then I ask him to just share the first word that pops in his mind when I say that word I think that might be a fun way to wrap it up or um, I will probably be asking him you know what are his top recommendations or suggestions very similar to how I ended our last uh, basically video YouTube interview about podcasting which was you know what's one recommendation or what's one what's the most important thing um, you would like to share with somebody uh, that's starting out on this new adventure of either creating a podcast or getting into creating content and uh, he shared it was consistent consistency and we got to we came to the conclusion that consistency is king um, that was a way I was able to simplify it, but he gave a nice um, chunk of information regarding why staying consistent with whatever content you're creating is so key and so important and how it helps you build your tribe and how it helps you actually build something um, that is real or solid or grounded and has a lot of ongoing potential growth and success. So those are my thoughts on the day before um, my first podcast and I just wanted to share part of my process with you and give you a little inside look into the questions I'm going to be asking and of course I'll be sharing the podcast audio files um, and I will be filming this and putting this on my YouTube channel as well. Um, I don't know if I'll be putting the full interviews on YouTube probably but I also want to chop things up and grab highlights so it makes it more or more easy so it makes some of the golden nuggets a little bit easier to access and you don't have to maybe listen to the whole podcast but you can go boom I want to know about that one specific thing and boom here's one of my guests dropping bombs about that topic so that's all I got to say today I got to go to the park here with my girlfriend and take our dogs on a walk and before I go I'm going to share one last thing um, that I'm super stoked about and that is my girlfriend's been building a herb vegetable and fruit garden because we have a lot of uh, citrus trees that we've been planting and we started planting some of them last year but I wanted to take you on a little quick tour here before I go and show you uh, her garden boxes so I'm going to turn this around you won't be able to see me but 
you'll be seeing the project we've been working on because we just ordered 14 cubic yards of dirt and me and my brother Andy and her have been shoveling all that dirt which is a hell of a lot of dirt came in on a dump truck we've been shoveling it into our garden boxes so I'll just give you a little sneak peek into that now and then eventually I'll show you the herb um, fruit and vegetable yields down the line eventually I will be wanting to grow some hemp in the future um, maybe when I move to another state um, but what's cool is it is legal in all 50 states as far as CBD hemp um, as long as it's below 0.3% THC um, but I love that flower I think it's beautiful and I'd love to be able to grow it again like I did when I was a kid um, but yeah it's it things have changed now because you know weed is pretty much legal um, in, in, in quite a few states and hemp is obviously legal in all 50 because they passed the hemp act um, so anyway here's a sneak peek as the cops fly overhead um, during the times of crisis that we're in right now which is the uh, pandemic the uh, coronavirus pandemic so again before I go as well my heart goes out to anybody um, that's been suffering behind that and I know people have been getting a little wacky with this quarantine lockdown uh, lifestyle um, but I'm trying to make the most of it I hope you are and uh, on that note check out the garden and I will uh, probably tune in or uh, I'll probably put in some some tunes right here as you get to explore the garden boxes all right so there's our tomatoes and we have some tomatoes and basil that we put in. Sneak on over here. This is our salsa box, so peppers. Things that we can uh, add to our Mexican style, Latin style dishes. Our strawberry box. And then a couple empty boxes that we're gonna have to put uh, some worm castings in and also some compost in so we can make uh, more vibrant soil for the rest of our herbs here so a little bit of cilantro some mint some sage more strawberries and some thyme some scallions and a couple other things uh, we got right here this beautiful little curry plant so there you have it folks there are the garden boxes try and give you the view over there and uh, until next time uh stay healthy stay inspired stay modified <laughs> modified stay motivated and uh yeah make the most of the uh current situation the lockdown quarantine peace time to go on a walk